Hi everyone, Melissa here from Fresh Blooming Clothing and this morning I went to the Goodwill Bins, which our Goodwill Bin or outlet calls it the Bargain Barn. And I spent a total of $32.94. And I bought a lot of hard goods today, which is basically anything except for clothing or linens. I did buy some clothing, I found some clothing, but mostly the clothing wasn't very good today. It wasn't very crowded though. So I'll show you everything I got for about $33. The first thing is brand new. It's huge. It's in the original box. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it in detail, but basically you pull this and it spins and there's mounting hardware in it. And it's for a doctor. And it says the decisive doctor on the bottom and it has like this wheel it looks homemade almost why isn't my camera focusing here we go it has this little tag on the back that says it was made in ohio by hope through housing which i looked up and seems to be a fantastic i'm not looking at the camera <laughs> it seems to be a fantastic program for people that had um addictive issues with drugs and alcohol and I don't see that they sell these anymore. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. Maybe it was to raise money, but this is going straight to my doctor. My doctor is awesome. I love my doctor. I'm sure I've said that before, but I think he'll really get a kick out of this. So funny. So that's the first thing. The second thing is a Christmas item and it is the end of January and Christmas items still seem to be selling if they're collectible. So don't be afraid to list Christmas items right now. I did pick this up for a dollar. And it does have, oh, it smells like vanilla. Or maybe it's this tree, whatever this tree is. It's, the tree is shedding everywhere. I'm gonna have to lint roll this entire thing. But it's this really well-made Santa Claus got a really beautiful hand-painted face. Will you focus? There we go. And his sack is full of these amazing toys. They're so detailed. And on it says that it was made by Rosemarie Snyder. And there's a little tag that says reproduction dolls of finest quality from Wildwood, New Jersey. And she signed it. So I looked up Rosemary Schneider, Snyder, Snyder, and her item seemed to have a good following. So I'll insert a screenshot here. <laughs> I'm finally getting the hang of editing a bit, and I, I don't know what I'm gonna get for this. I'm gonna have to put that the tree is shedding. Maybe it's wrapped in twine. Maybe I'll just rewrap it. But I really think this will bring a decent amount, enough to list and store this Santa. My grandmother was a doll maker. She had a kiln in her house. And um, I appreciate fine dolls. Don't collect them, but I appreciate them. And somebody's gonna love this, it's beautiful. My Goodwill gives me free bags. I don't know if anybody else's Goodwill does this. They say their bags are expensive, so these are all donated kind of reusable totes, so they just give them out. Now some of what I buy is going to be for my eight, going on nine, year old niece. I send her care packages about every month, sometimes a little sooner, and I just try to fill them with fun things that an eight year old would like. So this first item, second, third, what item am I on? Some item is for her. It is an inflatable ottoman. Brand new, it's hot pink. I'll have to ask my sister if she'll have room for this or she would even want this. But it retail for $5, I got it for a quarter. So I'll resell it if my sister doesn't think um, their house can handle another thing or their dog can handle it. Are you focused, are you focused? This is the Walkman Sport Edition. I didn't look it up because I know Walkmans do well. <laughs> it has a battery that hasn't expired. The battery is from 2015 and there was no corrosion in the battery case. I always look for that. And along with this 
was headset, which is a newer headset, but I guess, I guess this works with a headset. Yeah, it has a headphone jack. And this, which I don't know what this is, but it says sports on it. So I'm assuming it's some kind of like belt carrier for the Walkman. I'm really excited about this. Is this an original Walkman? Is this dated? What do you say, Walkman? It doesn't say anything on it. Oh, look it up. Thank you to the person who put this in a bag because you kept these two pieces together and I'm very excited to sell them. Okay, next up I'm gonna insert a picture because I found a roller set. And used rollers still do pretty well. There's a market for dancers and I think Irish tap that have those like springy curls and I know some rollers have a following. So I found these, I'm not gonna pronounce the brand, it's like, well, I'll probably pronounce the brand wrong, but it's Babyless. And I recognize the brand before they make different heating tools and hair care tools. And the entire thing was there except for the pins. So all I did, I didn't wanna ship it. The plastic had kind of broke off a little bit. It was still usable, but broke off. So I took the rollers. So I have the entire set of rollers. There's probably 30, 40 rollers. There's a lot of rollers in different sizes. And I will disinfect these. I use Lysol disinfecting spray, but these are plastic. So I will just soak these. And I will relist these. I'll probably get, I'm guessing like 15, 20 bucks. But easy, easy to list, easy to clean. So a tip if you find a roller set, look up if the rollers or the pins, sometimes the pins do really well, the clips. Next up, another free bag. This one is Lululemon. I collect these, I sell them eventually. I think I'm up to like three to five now. Um, this one's a smaller one, it's really pretty. It's got, what is this, like a chalk drop? Artwork by Heather Hansen. Good for you, Heather. I like your artwork. Okay, these dolls. <laughs> okay, so I found dolls. These dolls are from 1994, and this one looks like it had a really bad haircut. But that might be original. Oh, come on, camera. Got a new camera. Let's see. There we go. So they're cute. They have their little outfits. I don't think they're anything special. But these dolls, and I might lot these all up, are Madame Alexander, Alexander dolls. And they have some issues, but they're adorable. And I, I got them, I saw the name, I know Madame Alexander has a following. I saw that they had issues, I threw them back and then I pulled them because they wanted 25 cents for the entire four dolls. So what is that, seven cents a doll? Seven, six, six times four is 24. <laughs> six cents a doll, okay. So this one has this little rubber ducky, it's marked. It has a little chip out of its foot and her little raincoat has some wear, but how cute is she? Right, she's like a little rubber ducky doll. And then kind of like a little princess. These eyes open, do your eyes open? Yes, these have the sleepy eyes I think they're called where they shut their eyes when they're closed and then open them, really cute. Measuring tapes. These are just for me and for giveaways. I think there's another one or two on my Instagram. Um, on my Instagram, that's it. Not my Instagram page, just Instagram. So I'll put these in giveaways. I can always use these. I'm forever losing them. Tiny little bows. I have a bunch of these. Sometimes when things like this are brand new and I know I'm just gonna use them for personal use or for eBay wrapping, I'll pull them out of the container because my Goodwill will charge you less if it's not brand new in the container. So I got a bunch of these, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 of them. Really cute. This is a 4th of July little, I'm guessing it's a little beach ball. That'll go in my niece's 4th of July box. Glow sticks, she loves glow sticks, every kid does. These are, what are these, bracelets and connectors. So I'll send those to her in a box as well. Then I got, I think, six, what do I have here, six. I 
don't know anything about this brand. Head. Sports. I don't sport. This is some kind of absorbent tape that you wrap around things. So because there was six and she charged me a quarter for all six, I get them. If there was one, wouldn't get it, but six of them, I'll lock them up. I don't know. Worth a quarter. Next, I have glasses. Brand new in the case. Not expensive glasses. The brand name on them is Blush. I've never heard it. They have a website. I'll look them up. These glasses I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna send to my um, niece, just a pair. And I think they're bottle openers because this part is very sharp. I'll have to look on the blush website. But is that a bottle opener? That's funny, right? Sunglasses with bottle openers. Let's be careful not to scratch those. A gold faux leather tassel. It's metallic and pretty. And there's still Santa hair floating through the air. Ugh. Um, I'll just wrap something with that. I'll put it on the eBay package or one of my niece packages. Brand new cassette tapes. Didn't look these up. I look up, a, I would say maybe half the items. If I, I know I'm gonna pay more for the item at the bins, I'll look it up. But something that I'm just gonna pay a quarter for to a dollar, it's not worth it for me. Um, so because there's a lot of them, I'll lot them up. I might get 10 bucks for this, I might get 20. I'll insert screenshot. I didn't look them up yet. But I know VHS tapes, the ones that are new and recordable, have a following. And a lot of people send those into Amazon. But I didn't know if cassette tapes did. So took a chop there. Ah. Measuring tape, bows. More bows. Got bows everywhere. Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up, 2001. Again, a quarter. This is a stamp set. I know that stamps in lots go. I don't know if this one will bring more than five bucks. If it doesn't, I might keep this or just save it and get a bunch of them and lock them up eventually. Okay. A book, Amelia Bedelia for my niece and some stickers. I'm sure my sister is sick of stickers. Sorry, Lee. Stickers. Some vintage lace. And again, I pulled this off of the spool because I know I would be probably charged 50 cents to a dollar for the spool, but I might not have been charged anything for the actual lace. Tie up packages. Cute. Brand new fanny pack. They don't call it a fanny pack. What is this called? A pack sling, a waist pack sling. I don't think this probably retails for all of that much, but fanny packs are back in. I wear a fanny pack to the bins. I don't care what I look like. I need stuff in my fanny pack. But brand new, cute, adjustable. Maybe five, 10 bucks. My niece's birthday is coming up. I'll send some of these out with her things and package them. Hey, I'm thinking this might not be the same market on YouTube market, like I'm making any money. I have no idea. I don't make money yet. Maybe I will in the future. But of opening her box, like packaging everything for her, I'm gonna send her box probably next week. I try to send it at the end of the month for the following month so it gets there. So I'm gonna send her Valentine's Day package end of next week. So I'm thinking about putting together her box and then opening it on camera. I think that would be a fun thing because I get almost everything for her from the bins and yard sales. Okay, wigs. These will absolutely be cleaned. This one's really nice. This one is well-made. I have sold wigs before. It's got the um, kind of lace wig. I don't know wigs that well, but it's like this really nice netted and it's Raquel Welsh, Walsh. Yeah, so this one might bring 20 bucks or so. This one's not as well made and it looked probably vintage. It also has uh, lace netting. And what does this label say? Made in Japan. <laughs> I don't know this name. Jean, maybe? J-O-N, I-O-N, I don't know. 
R E N A L A U L. If I ever, which I'm not going to, create any kind of anything, I'm writing my name in simple text because script and those fancy labels, it's hard to look up. But this one has like different colors of gray. It's not as well made. This one, you can just tell. What is this? I don't think this is human hair. I don't think she does human hair. It has a memory cap on it. It is made from Vibrolite. I don't know what Vibrolite is, but it feels uh, a little bit less synthetic than this one does. But they're both kind of older style. Um, and we used to work at retirement communities, my husband and I. And I was actually surprised of how many people wore wigs. And I get it. If I could shave my head and just look decent and not even look decent, but just be accepted more, totally, totally for that. Okay, this is totally my favorite. <laughs> it's a peacock hat, and I already sprayed this because the cashier put it on her head. It's brand new. It didn't retail for much. It retailed for 30 bucks. Lily Lee. But you guys, I'm putting this on my head. It's disinfected. <laughs> How are we wearing this? It's so good, right? So good. Ow, now it's stuck in my hair. I am not cutting you out of my hair. Out of my hair. Whew. But it's got, I'm guessing this is real peacock feathers and this beaded part. I'm guessing this is not gonna bring much, but this makes me so happy. So pretty. Next up is, I think this is a flashlight. It looks like it would turn on and off. I had to put batteries in it. Okay, so the batteries were empty. No batteries in it, which is good because it's nice and clean. Disney stuff in general does pretty well. Now, I live in Florida, so we find a lot of Disney stuff. I find a lot of Disney stuff. And Walmart sells Disney. I'm sure there's other stores, but just to tell you, it's common down here. So what you're going to look for is Disney World Disney parks, things that are sold in the parks are a little bit harder to come by. And I couldn't find another um, one like this on when I looked, but it's kind of like a lightsaber. And it's marked Disneyland Resort. I'm going to clean this off. That might be just paint. But if he has a little scratch on his nose, I'm just gonna touch him up with a little bit of black Sharpie and just close it. Brand new Washington hat. Nothing much, but brand new. Trenched a quarter. Ha! Huh, this is my fanny pack. How did that get in there? It is beat up, but it has a lot of pockets and holds a water bottle. Next item, and I have never bought cast iron before. Not because I have anything against it, but it is heavy and it's usually expensive. So I found this Lodge. L-O-D-G-E brand. It's so heavy and it's marked 5IC. It needs cleaned. I'm sure I can YouTube how to clean cast iron. I think this is the last hard good I got. And I thought it was one, but it's two. It's two different ones. Remington razors. This one's a really old school razor. And I think this one's a newer one. And it comes with the cord and the Remington bag. So all of this will just be sold along with them. Razors sometimes have a good following. These two do not. They'll probably get 10, 15 bucks out of them if my husband doesn't keep one after we clean it. But um, Gillette razors, the really old school ones, go for hundreds of dollars. Stockings, used stockings. I am not above selling those. I've locked them up. I didn't find many today and used stockings are something most people won't touch. So I am glad to get those. I think I'm gonna keep this coat. <laughs> this is a Gap coat. It is from, when are you from coat? 
Gap, Banana Republic, Old Navy. Oh, that was, I was gonna lick my finger. So gross, don't do that. From 2016, um, Crew. There might be other brands, but they always have a date code on the inner label. I'm pretty sure this is men's. It's kind of grayish olive green and it's fleece lined and I could use another kind of just beat up coat. So mine, totally mine. Next up is a corset or a bustier. It retailed for $59, brand new with tags, nothing special. I don't know, I might get 10 bucks out of it. Ha, huh, more stockings. These are really pretty. They're like a pale color. Is this kind of lilac color? Pretty. They'll go with a lot. This is the last time I buy vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I know a lot of people are selling for great money vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Not one of them. I cannot sell vintage Tommy. These are cut off shorts. They're not in brand new condition, which I think that makes them probably more desirable. They're really short shorts. Tommy jeans, probably an early 2000s label. And they've kind of got a lot of wear, not holes exactly, but they could be holes any day. My niece has a tiny little kind of realistic baby doll and her baby doll, she told me, was three to six months uh, wearing clothing. So I've been collecting little baby clothing for the baby doll to send in her box. And this one says Daytona Beach, Florida. Just really tiny, cute, needs washed. Second to last thing is this brand new men's shirt. North River, I don't know the brand, brand new. It doesn't say a price on it. Uh, made in Korea though, so it could be more of like a department store label rather than a Walmart or Mart label. And it's got dogs on it, it's hunting dogs. And anything with dogs or animals usually does pretty well. I'll have to identify this. I'm gonna guess Chocolate Lab. I don't know dogs. Love dogs, don't know them. So I'll put that in the title. And last up is an anthropology brand, Sleeping on Snow. I'll have to find what this was called because anthropology has all of their pieces named. It's kind of a, it's not kind of, definitely a lagging look piece, but I won't use that in the title. It's, it's a very tent-like shape ivory nothing much it does have where the yarns pulled out here we go and all i'll do is pull that yarn right back in that's no big deal so that's everything thank you guys so much for watching i am going to insert some footage of my husband and i working on our ebay table i'm painting it bright aqua i had leftover paint from when i painted my bicycle last year and it is oil-based paint so it's taking a little bit longer but Fun, fun project, $5. I am looking for a chair. I am looking for a decent chair because I'll probably sit in a lot for YouTube videos and I don't do well with rigid chairs. So that's everything. Take care. Thanks guys.